Silk Road by Nick Middleton This is the third part of my lesson the links to the other videos can be found in the description box My explanation makes use of the question answer way The question briefly describe the town of Hor Why was the narrator sorry to see its miserable plight? The word grim means serious or gloomy. Hor was a gloomy and miserable place. There was no vegetation of any type but only dust and rocks. Accumulated means gathered. The word refuse means garbage it was filled with garbage that had gathered there since years the word venerated means greatly respected that was unfortunate because the town was situated on the shore of lake mansarovar which is tibet's most respected stretch of water the next question What is the belief about Lake Mansarovar? Means what is it that people believe about it according to mythology? And what is the fact that means the reality? Mansarovar is the source of four great Indian rivers, the Indus, the Ganges, the Satluj and the Brahmaputra according to ancient Hindu and Buddhist cosmology. The meaning of the word headwaters is the source of a river the place from where the river originates flanks means sides but in reality only satluj flows from the lake and the source of the others is the sides of mount kailash the word forge means make an effort they were very close to the great mountain and the narrator was eager to go ahead but he had to wait as he was asked to drink some tea in hor's only cafe which was constructed from badly painted concrete and had three broken windows a draught is a current of cool air but a good view of the lake compensated for the lack of cool air A Chinese youth in military uniform served him tea in a thermos. Half an hour, half an hour later, they drove past a lot more rocks and rubbish. They were traveling westwards towards Mount Kailash. The next question: Briefly contrast the earlier horror with its present state. The narrator had read very impressive description of the town of Hor. A Japanese monk who had arrived there in 1900 was so moved by the sanctity of the lake that he started crying. The word hallowed means holy or sacred. A couple of years later, the holy waters had a similar effect on Svenheden. a sweet but the author's experience in hor was almost opposite to what he had read about earlier travelers first encounters with lake mansarovar unlike the past the place no longer appeared holy the next part is reaching darchen by 10:30 pm they reached a guest house in darchen The next question is what was the impact of the journey to Darchan on the narrator's health The author had a very troubled night obviously because he was unwell he was suffering from a cold The open air rubbish dump that the town of Hor had become now increased his cold once more Truthfully it had never really disappeared even after the herbal tea one of his nostrils was blocked again as he lay down to sleep 
He was at 4760 meters above the sea level, which was not much higher than Rahu. Yet the altitude that is height was having its impact on him. He had been gasping for oxygen many times every night. The word accustomed means used to. Nocturnal means of the night. He was used to these disturbances, which means gasping for oxygen during the night. Still, they scared him. He started breathing through his mouth as he was tired and hungry. After some time, he started breathing with only one nostril, which seemed to provide enough oxygen. He did that because the other one was blocked. The word drifting off means gradually falling asleep. But just as he started feeling sleepy, he woke up suddenly and abruptly. His chest felt strangely heavy and he sat up, due to which his nose got cleared almost instantly and relieved the feeling in his chest. As he lay back and tried again, it had the same result. He started feeling sleepy. This time, he didn't gasp for breath, but he simply couldn't sleep. Sitting up immediately made him feel better as he could breathe freely. But as soon as he lay down, his sinuses filled. He tried propping himself upright against the wall but couldn't manage to relax enough to sleep, so he stayed awake all night. Let's see what happened when they went to visit the medical college. A possible question could be, describe the visit to the Tibetan doctor and the treatment he gave. The next day, Cezanne took him, that is the narrator, to the Darchan Medical College. Monastery is a place where monks live. The college looked like a monastery from the outside with a very solid door that led into a large courtyard. Paraphernalia means the equipment needed for a particular activity. The Tibetan doctor looked different because he was not wearing a doctor's attire. Without a white coat, he looked like any other Tibetan. He wore a thick pullover and a woolly hat. As Nick explained the signs of his sleeplessness, the doctor asked a few questions while examining the veins in his wrist. The doctor told him that it was just the cold and the altitude that was giving him trouble. A possible question. What treatment did the Tibetan doctor give to Nick? Was it effective? The doctor gave him some medicine and that night the author was able to sleep well. Nick wanted to know whether he would recover enough to be able to do the Kora. The doctor said yes, after which he started a five-day course of Tibetan medicine. The after-breakfast package contained a brown powder that tasted just like cinnamon. The lunchtime and bedtime packages contained small spherical brown pellets that looked just like sheep dung. But he still took them and that night he slept very soundly which means that the medicines were effective and they were doing their work. The next part can be subtitled as leaving for Lhasa. When Cezanne was convinced that the author was fine, he left the latter in Darchen and went away to Lhasa. He told Nick jokingly that it didn't really matter even if he passed away. Passed away means to die. Because as a Buddhist, he believed in life after death. 
but he thought it would be bad for business as he may not get more tourists it is all said in good humor between two friends this is the end of the third part of my lesson silk road the links to the other videos can be found in the description box if you liked and learned from my video do comment like share and subscribe to my channel